Hello everyone, I'm Bill and I know stuff. Today I know how to add transparent pointers or graphics to your videos in Shotcut. These are great for catching attention or directing your audience to look at a specific spot in your videos. I've already teed up an informational video I'm working on. It's a short that's only a minute long, but it has a lot of steps. I want to use a graphic to direct folks attention to the correct spots as the video plays. First, let's add a video track. Next, let's open a file and locate the graphic we want to use. In this case, it's a yellow arrow. This is a transparent PNG file, so the black areas will all be transparent while I pull it down to the new video track on the timeline. Looks good, but it's a lot big right now. Let's add a filter. Hit the Filter tab, scroll, or do a search for Size, Position, Rotate. Now size the graphic down to where you think you might want it. We can use the graphic just as it is. It'll probably look fine, but I like to give the overlaid graphics a transparent look. Still grabs the attention and doesn't block out what's behind the pointer. Once again, hit Filters, Search, or Scroll to Opacity. Time to experiment a bit. Adjust the slider until you're happy with the amount of opacity. I like that right there. Now I'm going to position the graphic where I need it. This first spot is down, so I'll highlight size, position, and rotate again, then move the graphic where I want it. I still think it's a bit large, so I'll adjust the size one more time and reposition. Here's a time-saving tip. Since I'm going to be using the exact same graphic repeatedly, I'm going to drag the file all the way down the timeline. Now, I'll just cut the file wherever I'm going to have a change. Then I'll reposition the pointer where I need it. I'll cut that section and start on the next. That's much quicker than pulling in the graphic and adding the filters for each new instance. There was no point in watching me repeat that process 17 times, but it only took a couple of minutes. I'll play a short section so you can see how it goes. You can see that the graphic draws attention to the spot you need it without becoming distracting. All right, that's it for now. If you're interested, I've added the short onto the end of this video so you can see a complete example of what it looks like when done. I hope that was helpful for you. If so, please hit that like button and drop me a comment or a question. Better yet, I can use all the friends I can get, so think about subscribing. Y'all be good and take care. Hit the plus sign, select Upload a Video. Choose the short you want to upload. Edit the short any way you want. When you're ready, hit Next, and you'll get the Details page. Select the picture. There's a pencil on it. Adjust the slider to the frame you want as a thumbnail. Hit Done. Back on the Details page, add the title. Make sure visibility is set to Private to start. This will give you the chance to add a description before going live. Hit Upload Short. It might take a minute before it's ready. Select Library. Back on the YouTube app. Select your videos. Now select the short you just uploaded and hit Edit. Add a description and set the visibility to public. Your short will be ready to go. Save it.